So I had a really interesting question in the brand new 10X Better Golf uh, membership program. And in the community, somebody asked, uh, you know, essentially I feel lost and my brain is a quagmire of swing thoughts. And I love the quote, <laughs> remember it because it was a great, great way to say it. Now, so many people deal with this. So I'm like, I really want to do a video with this because what I'm about to share is, is really, really important in terms of if you really want to get sustainable results in your game. Now, almost every golfer has dealt with like the too many swing thoughts thing and getting lost, right? First of all, the reason that happens is because we have a, like a lack of control, okay? So when we as human beings start to feel like we're losing control, we do everything in a panic almost to gain a sense of control. Like we are way more at ease when we're in control of things in our lives. When we're out of control is when there tends to be chaos and we tend to go off the rails a little bit. I think everybody can understand that. If you just think about life and sense, if we lose control of a certain aspect, if you lose all your money, you're gonna panic, right? There's gonna be a lot of things you do that are probably pretty crazy. When you start to hit bad shots in golf and you really don't know, like, or you don't have it organized of what you truly do well, and there's only three things that we need to do well, but if you don't have these things and we have this Rolodex of information of things we've heard before, little tips we picked up here, you know, this advice from over here, things we've tried this way that have worked for a little bit, you know, when we have all of that, your brain's gonna start going to every little piece into that Rolodex to try to gain a sense of control. It's looking for something to latch onto, which is why we get bogged down with swing thoughts. Nobody, I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong or comment here if you've done this, but in most cases, if you're hitting it really well, especially when you're playing on the course, not many people are like, let me just think of some different shit. Like most people are like, okay, this works. I feel good about this. I'm going to roll with it. Right. And in almost every case, when you're playing well, it's really a singular swing thought or a feel, or it's just pure visualization and hitting it. There's not a lot of people are like, man, I was thinking about three things today and you know, it was great. You know, again, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. If you've done that, somebody's probably done that out there, but it doesn't happen a whole lot because it's just not how our brains work. Now, this isn't even necessarily meant to be like a mental game post, but it's more of just why, understanding why we go down those rabbit holes of just so many th swing thoughts to the point where it just gets cluttered, which is even what I call my program from clutter to consistency. My first rule is like when I see somebody, I'm like, I want everything out of your head. Give me every single swing thought, thing you think it of, and we're gonna get it on the table and we're going to organize it down and prioritize it to one or two things because that's what everybody can do. So if you're struggling, if you're following this, if you're in that boat and you have that, you know, where you just get cluttered, you know, take it to heart. There's really only three things. There's your, how we're set up. So your grip and your stance are affecting a lot of stuff where your feet are positioned. There's how you pivot in your balance. That's essentially affecting where the club moves. And there's, do you, are you able to create space for your arms to swing, which is gonna be club face control and consistent bottom of the swing. Like when we can do those three things, everything else falls in place. Everything else tends to be symptoms. But when we focus so much on those symptoms, we get into a lot of trouble. So again, step one is we have to organize. This is what I do well, and this is how I do it, and this is how I practice it on the daily. If you can get organized like that, I know it's easier said than done, which is why I built this program for as little as $9 a month. You can get in there and learn how to do this stuff. Uh, just click that link in the bio and you, you, can, you can check it out. But it's not meant to be a sales pitch, but it's like, I just want everybody, my goal is to help players get organized because I just see so many go down this rabbit hole. So kind of a long-winded ex uh, explanation, but a very important one is we got to get that organization. This is what I do well. This is how I do it and this is how I train it. When you can get there, we get rid of that whole cluttered, you know, mess and all the, all the crazy swing thoughts and, and we lose that, you know, we get rid of that sense of just feeling, you know, no control. And we start getting in control, which is where not only does good ball striking come from, but also confidence. So I hope that helps. Again, comment below. Let me know your thoughts.